Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras. It is Lori, and I am here to do your you and them reading. Let's start by rolling the zodiac die and seeing what signs you might possibly be dealing with. All right, we have Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Libra. Whoop, whoop, there you are. All right. So I am going to use the Radiant Rider Weight um, deck to clarify. Uh-oh, we got a commitment or something going on here. Possibly a marriage involved here or an elevation of relationships. I'm going to use the Radiant Rider Weight to clarify your energies concerning this relationship. This is going to be your very near past within the last month, Spirit your current energies towards this relationship and your near future relationships towards this, um, nor your near future energies, your energies in the near future towards this relationship. No further than a month out into the future, please, spirit. All right, and then I'm going to use the White Sage Tarot to clarify your person's energies towards this relationship all decks were pre-shuffled but for some reason i'm feeling the need to shuffle some more their recent past energies concerning this relationship their current energies about this relationship and their near future energies concerning this relationship no further than a month into the future please spirit and then i'm going to use this deck which is the everyday tarot to clarify um, the combined energies between the two of you. Okay. Let's see what we got here. One more. All right. So combined between the two of you, the recent past energies. Your current energies combined in this relationship. And your near future combined energies. No further than a month into the future, please, Spirit. All right, let us go ahead and start with your energies. Now, as we're going along, if you happen to notice that this feels more like your energy and this is more like your person, please feel free to flip the rolls. If this reading is not resonating with you at all, please don't tell me that. I don't need to know, okay? Only take what does resonate, okay? Leave it for those who it is meant for. All right, so on your side, you have in the recent past... The Six of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm hearing that you were working towards moving away from a chaotic situation, a drama-filled issue. You found your voice, you spoke your truth, and you put a lot of effort into this, or you're willing to still put time and effort into this relationship. Let's go ahead and see what the past energies are for your person. The Page of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Very, we've got very young, immature energy here. Um, I'm hearing that your person came to you with some sort of peace treaty so like i'm hearing that something happened there was an argument or something between the two of you oh your person wants to restore happiness wholeness they see you two as being belonging together okay they do believe that or they did believe that in the past the recent past um they made this offer to you i am getting for some reason um I'm getting two messages here, which is confusing me, okay? Because I feel like one situation was chaotic where they're trying to apologize and they want to make things right and they're waiting to see how things will turn out. Others of you, I feel like this person has, um, you may have separated for a little while, okay? Um, and now this person came towards you in the recent past saying, let's give this another try. And you spoke up and you says, well, you know, this is exactly what I need from this relationship. You know, I'm willing to put the effort in. Um, and there, it looks like they are too and just willing to, to see how things can go. They're willing to talk to you, okay? They want to communicate back and forth. 
So let's see what the recent past combined energy was. Ooh, the death card on your side, the knight of swords on their side, and then between the two of you, the king of pentacles. So there was definitely a rocky situation here. Um, you may have closed the door on them. You may have said, I need this to end. You can't come rushing in here. I'm getting that they came at you. Um, not physically. Some of you, it may have been physically, but I am getting that some of you, they came at you the wrong way. Maybe accused you of something that you did not do. Okay. And that's why you spoke up and you said, you know, I know exactly who I am. I did not do this. No, show me the proof. Okay. That's kind of what I kept feeling here. Show me the proof. All right. Because I, I want to move out of this chaotic situation here. This is nothing but drama. So I'm getting a sense that somebody around your person that they were talking to created this situation. The nice thing is, is that you talked. The two of you spoke. You did communicate with each other. And you came to an agreement that is balanced, whole, fair, with the King of Pentacles energy here. Okay? You feel like you can trust this person again. You are looking towards your person and saying, okay, I'm going to give you this opportunity I've got this pentacle that you've offered me. I'm holding on to it. Okay, and this is also your person's energy. But they're looking back at themselves, and I, I'm hearing they're trying to figure out what they can do so that they don't repeat that. So how, so how they may be able to keep stability, abundance, happiness with you, okay? What they have to do, what they have to focus on. Okay, I'm also hearing that they feel like they have to save the day. That they're putting effort in to fix this situation. All right, let's see what the current energies are in this relationship. On your side, the Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Sun. This looks really fantastic. You've learned something here. Okay, about the past. You you learn something about the past that made you finally realize that you've got a new path to take. Okay, a new focus, a new attention um, within this relationship, within this relationship. And you're looking at this relationship long term. You really do want to be happy. You're feeling happy. You're feeling joyful. You feel like it's going to be very, very successful. I'm also hearing that you have a path to follow, but also um, support. Like this person is supportive of something that you want to do. Let's see what your person's energy is. They have the hanged man. They have the knight of swords again. Ooh, and the death card. But this time it's on their side instead of yours. I'm hearing that you told them. It's almost like an ultimatum. You need to stop this immature behavior, this um, accusations. You need to stop this. Whatever it was that they were doing, you very clearly said, this has got to end, okay? And what I'm seeing here is that um, they're willing to hang around. Fix this, okay? Fix this. With a, You've got the hangman, the knight of swords, and the death. They want to put an end to it themselves. Look at this. They're focusing on putting an end to whatever it was that they were doing. So there is a transformation here because we have this caterpillar. Your person here in the current energies is working very, very hard to transform out of this. And originally, remember I said I'm getting a sense of immaturity here? I feel like they're growing up. Like, they may be 50 years old, but they're getting an eye-opening um, here that's transforming the way they see relationships and what their role within those relationships are, is. All right, let's see what the combined energy between the two of you is. Oh, look at that. Star card on your side. Healing, healthy, happy. The Nine of Pentacles on, your, on their side. Independence, freedom, ability to take care of themselves, stand on their own two feet. Trust, loyalty. Focusing on themselves, healing. I, I'm getting healing and fixing this. You, you're letting the past go. You've got hope for the future. You've got the sun and the stars here. You really feel good about this person and this relationship. Between the two of you, 
Look at this. We have the Empress. I'm getting that this is the Divine Masculine side and this is the Divine Feminine side. So whatever you are, okay, that may help you to determine who we're talking about here. I do see a sense of value. Both people see the value. I am seeing a desire to create children together. We have a child here. We have children here. And the Empress always represents fertility and childbirth. Um, wow, really beautiful current energies here. Feels really, really big. So I'm getting that <sighs> some of you have been in this relationship for years, okay? Again, that Hierophant card did come out. And this does feel like it was a relationship that's evolved over time. And for some reason, this person just kind of never was growing up here. And that's what is happening is they're finally maturing into um, realizing that they're in a committed relationship here. And that they can't just kind of keep goofing off. And that's what it feels like is like goofing off and just being like petty and just acting like a 12 year old instead of a 40 or 50 or 60 year old. All right, for others of you, if this is a relatively new relationship, you're you're navigating it very quickly, very good, because you're communicating. You're doing very well, okay? And Spirit wants you to know that. That communication is key. Being kind, compassionate, and uh, being loyal to your person, okay? And making, the, making them feel comfortable when you're talking with them so that they understand that you're coming from a place of love. I am here... In this current energy, hearing too that some of you are actually shining a light for this person. Because you've already been through some of this energy, you're showing them how to transform. How to put an end to this. What exercises, what thoughts they can have, what actions they can take. You're actually showing them how to build and transform Beautiful message here. I'm loving this, which is really good because I've really disliked the last couple of uh, weeks. <laughs> you and them readings. All right. So in the very near future, no further than a month out, hopefully, we have the moon on your side. We have the six of pentacles. Oh, and then we have the four of cups. So there's something that's still hidden here, but there is a path. You found a path, okay? Or you're seeking the path. Again, your support is around you here. <clears throat> there is balance. There's harmony. There are blessings coming in for you. And with this Four of Cups, I'm hearing a refusal to return to the past. I'm also getting a sense of dread. Like this person is going to fail again. They're going to they're gonna slip, which... I think most of you are going to be like, this really needs to stop now, okay? I'm, I'm willing to bear with you as you go through this transformation and learn, but you really can't keep doing the exact same thing. And that's what I'm feeling for the near future. <clears throat> okay, let's see what your person's energy is in the near future. The Chariot, Nine of Swords, and the Tower. Yeah, see, they keep doing something. They, even though they're trying to change directions, they're so stuck in their head. They're so stuck in this that they don't know how to let it go. And it's going to cause a Tower moment here, unfortunately. All right. You have got the Magician. You're going to use the resources available to you to help, to um, try to change things to bring in balance, harmony, peace. Your person has the nine of wands. They don't want to give up. They absolutely do not want to go up and they're looking at you. They're saying, I I'm here, I'm trying, but they're really failing here. They don't, they're not learning the lesson. Three of swords is um, the outcome in the very near future. <clears throat> I don't like that. I'm very sad <clears throat> about this. 
I would like to draw three cards to see what the actual outcome will be for this relationship spirit. Oh, a different deck? Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm using that one too, aren't I? Ha! Oops. Okay, card fell on the floor, and any time that something happens, it's never a coincidence. The card is the Knight of Cups. This is about self-love, okay? You have to take care of yourself first. So if your person cannot um, figure out how to take care of themselves and fill their cup of love and do the right thing, you may have to focus on yourself. Let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants to say using uh, this other deck here about the outcome. Let's get two more cards. I hope you cannot hear my stomach because I am really hungry all of a sudden. And it is making the loudest noises. I mean, I have not heard my stomach like this in a long time. And I let myself get hungry before I eat. So I don't know what's happening. I really hope you can't hear that. Okay. Two more cards here, please, Spirit. Or two more shuffles. And if we don't get any more cards... We'll take what Spirit has given us here. Nine of Pentacles, freedom. So yeah, this is not going to work out. It doesn't look like the truth. Yeah. Too much inconsistency, immaturity, not, you know, thinking. Okay. And then having to start all over again. Yeah, see, it's going to end. Now, they can, things can change, okay? You can change. Your person can change. You're forewarned. You're forearmed. So you get to decide how this goes forward. If you're warned ahead of time that your person is not going to change as quickly or as easily as you think, then maybe you're going to be willing to take time to work with them. Um, or maybe you're going to say, I need to take a step back, have my independence, my freedom until you figure it out, Okay. Um, they are trying to, to be more adult, be able to take care of themselves, to stand on their own two feet. And, you know, if they're 40, 50 years old, they didn't get this way in a year, okay? It probably took 40, 50 years to get here. So if you're willing to work with your person, you may be able to get through this. If uh, you're not willing to put that time and effort in anymore, okay, and you're really looking for harmony and balance, and you just don't see the answer. That's what I'm getting from this moon card. And things just keep go getting repeated over and over and over again. All right? You may just cut your losses here and say, you know, go ahead and go figure yourself out. <laughs> figure out how you can take care of yourself. Grow up, mature. If I'm still single when you're done, great. We can talk again, but... uh yeah, your person's going to be facing a major tower here. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit would like to give you concerning this relationship. What oracle messages? All right, let's start with the whispers of love. See what Spirit has to say, because this feels really good. Okay, I, I was kind of thrown by this heartbreak, the sadness, you know. Um, and it is sadness on both of your parts, but I think your person is like, I'm, I don't want to give up. And you're like, I have all these resources. You know, I've tried everything that I can. Um, it, it may require a parting of the ways, or it could be you stay together and just keep trying to work on it. It's going to be up to you. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments, okay? So maybe that's what happens here. Maybe you do forgive your person, okay? Card 29, that's 11, being in alignment. All right. And 39, be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel, okay? So there, I am, again, I, I keep getting that this is not over, even though we're. I feel like... It, I heard Spirit say this is not going to work, okay? That the same pattern just keeps ha happening over and over again. On the bottom of the deck, we have embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to be surface and to be accepted. All right. Spirit wants to have me read you uh, 29 here. 
And right after 29 is true love, just so you know. So 29 and then true love. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Be willing to forgive yourself and others and open the doors to future growth. Love can be restored and trust can be rebuilt. Move from bitterness back to the joy that you deserve in your life. Granting forgiveness is a choice that we make. You may not feel like engaging with somebody, but you can forgive them without ever talking to them again. An act of forgiveness helps replace anger, depression, anxiety, and old pain with hope and compassion. Think about what you want, what you can forgive. Think about what you can forgive, as the benefits will be immeasurable. This process will increase your inner strength and your self-esteem. Forgiveness can heal and help you move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. Replacing hurt with love will free you to love more deeply and more freely. All right, on this card, two faces appear at the center of the card. The upper image wears a crown of ice, which appears to be melting around the edges. This could symbolize the willingness to change or move through a situation. Closed eyes can depict the subconscious, deep thinking, or an error in communication. The clasped hands above the faces show a return to balance and compromise. You can achieve a positive outcome here. Okay, so there is hope. Remember, forgiveness is a choice that you make for your own benefit. Okay, for your own good. All right, let's look at 39. I had to say, be honest, uh, showed up too. All right, so be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Authenticity is important, important in every relationship. Sometimes it might seem easier to stifle your feelings and do something you normally wouldn't do. Be candid and honest and be who you truly are. Accept others for who they are and don't feel the need to change yourself or anyone else. Okay, so this is about you being patient and being willing to work with your person. If I mean, they're definitely willing to work on themselves. Okay, but if, if somebody doesn't want to change, it's not your place to try to change them. This is for those people who really do want this relationship to work and your person is willing to work on themselves. Your personal confidence may not be where it needs to be, or you may have lost the ability to connect with yourself. You have adapted, you may have adapted yourself to fit into someone else's ideas or given up your choices to make another person happy. Stop hiding yourself and allow your true self to be seen. Recognize what your needs are, what your emo emotions are, and what your joys are. Take care of yourself. Remember that Knight of Cups? That Knight of Cups right here. Take care of yourself. Okay? So that you can be present, or you, so you can present the real you in mind, body, and spirit. This includes taking care of your health, getting plenty of sleep, rest, and managing your stress, and making sure that you are eating well. A woman wearing a white swan as her hat is before you. A swan is a sign of optimism and assurance. This is showing you a fresh start where you can be seen for who you really are. The lizards in the tree are a reminder to ground yourself. They suggest increased sensitivity and self-awareness. Be in harmony with your thoughts and your feelings and mindful of your actions. Beautiful message there. What? Okay, thank you. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and to be accepted. Feelings and emotions are part of who you are. Allow yourself to feel what is going on for you. Your feelings can alert you to the truth of a situation. Take positive steps to determine why you feel the way you do. Emotions come under four categories. Happiness, sadness, anger, or fear. Once you figure out what is going on for you, then you can take power away from an emotion. Experiencing an emotion you are uncomfortable with expressing 
can be a big challenge. Journaling is a great way to process and clarify those difficult emotions. Writing about your emotions will help you to organize your thoughts and work through your feelings. A young girl clings to the neck of a spirited unicorn in this card. The unicorn has wings and is flying, as if lifting the child above a situation. Unicorns symbolize magic. This unicorn's wings express your ability to overcome or transcend your current circumstances. You are in a period of growth and learning how to better understand yourself. Beautiful message there. Beautiful message. Honor your feelings, please, and your emotions. All right. Let's see what else Spirit wants to give you. Another astrology. Astrology has been strong. I think it's because Jupiter is orbiting so closely to the uh, planet. And that's going to happen for a long time. Quite a few years. All right. Let's see what's going on here. So remember to focus on yourself and taking care of yourself. Okay. Pluto. Transformation. Absolutely. Okay. So there is an energy of... Um, your person trying to transform. House 8, transformation, karma, facing fears and legacies. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, Spirit just said that this is the focus. Your person fears something, okay? And it has something to do with long-term future. I'm hearing that for some of you, your person could fear marriage, because they were in a family that did not successfully maintain their marriage. Or they saw several marriages around them go down the drain. Even though they feel like they've got a great relationship with you and can trust you, they don't trust the marriage part of it. Okay? But they're facing that. And they are feeling their karma of not being very mature here. Okay? So maybe that will help some of you to figure out how to help your person. Because we do have you wanting to uh, show them the way, teach them. All right. Let's see what else Spirit has for you here. An L key message. Different for you and them reading. Huh. We have Colette. She who nurtures. Empathy, gentleness, and insight. Okay. Colette makes me think of Colette Baron Reed, who did so many oracle cards. Okay. This card brings a gentle message of hope and of healing. When you are troubled, turn to those around you. See your support, okay? Turn to those around you and let them see what it is you need. Where do you need support? If you are lucky, you may encounter one of those rare souls who see at a glance exactly what you are experiencing. And this I'm hearing is your person being this message is for your person to see you as that rare soul who sees at a glance exactly what you are experiencing. You will recognize the knowing souls like Colette by the emp empathetic depth in their eyes. Allow yourself to be nurtured back to health and happiness. This really is feeling like a message for your person. You may share with them these questions, okay? Things to focus on to help them. When do I need to be more gentle with myself, okay? When do they need to stop beating themselves up, stop talking negative, okay? Those are things that they need to work on and release. What are their beliefs about marriage, about commitment? about long-term relationships relationships all right the other question they may want to ask themselves is do they allow themselves to be nurtured by you and other people or are they just one of those people that keeps going forward and doesn't accept love doesn't know how to receive love okay beautiful message there all right so that was colette and now Spirit would like to get you, we're going to do romance, uh, or no, we're going to do romance angel oracle messages first, but then we will be doing angel answers, okay? So if you have specific questions you would like to ask the angels, um, 
Go ahead and form those questions. Could be thinking about them already. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we have here using the Romance Angel Oracle messages about this relationship between you and the person on your mind. Okay, there are romantic feelings and there is a situation with finances and career. Okay, so there is troubled water here. There is some sort of troubled water. Waters. Anything else here using the Romance Angels Oracle messages? I just realized you couldn't see those. They were off screen. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Take time alone, okay? Um, yeah, like you two could should may want to spend some quality time alone together. Sharing feelings, sharing emotions, okay? Connecting. Letting your passion... Um, Kind of create the scenario that you're looking for so this person feels like they're transforming. Let your friends help you in healing family issues. Flirt. You deserve love. Past life relationship. Okay, it is safe for you to love. Make the effort. They are a soulmate. All right, so all of those good things are coming your way. Go ahead and make the effort. It does look like if you make the effort, there will be progress. It's going to be slow. I do hear that. Okay. All right. Let's see what the romance angel, or I'm sorry, the angel answer oracle uh, messages are for you. Perfect timing. What else have we got here, spirit? Anything else using the angel answer oracle messages? Helpful people again. Oh. And there will be abundance and joy and happiness. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, energy coming through that. All right. On the bottom of the deck, you just have to stand firm. This is like the seven of wands energy there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get you some Kipper and Lenormand messages here. Let's use the Lenormand Gilded Reverie to see what Spirit would like to say about this relationship. It's a beautiful relationship. It really does feel good. It feels like there's a need for someone to grow up. But you know what? We all have different paces, different speeds at which we mature. But if you're in a committed relationship, you have to face that at some point, that you may not be at the same level as your person, or they may not be at yours. Yeah, cutting the chafe. Getting rid of those things that just do not benefit the relationship. All right, that's the um, Knight of Pentacles, too. It's a long time in coming. Here you are. You've been the anchor, okay? And look, Nine of Wands, energy, again, feeling like I'm not giving up. Maybe wounded, maybe, you know, thrashing in this storm here, but I'm not willing to give up. And then we have the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck with Distant Horizons sailing. This is like Six of Wands energy here, too, moving into a better place. And we do have the, uh, the Clover, Six of Pentacles again. So balance, harmony, and blessings, luck. Good things coming. There is a Divine Masculine. There is a message that's coming in about home. And look at that. You have the Soulmate card. Wow, beautiful message here for you guys, beautiful. Look at all the twos. And Okay, so you've got two, two, two here, and then we've got one and one here, and then we've got four, and if you put this together, that's four, and then you've got a four here. Three and five is eight, and then you've got an eight here. I mean, this is just like one, two, three, four, five, six. Just, I don't know, there's something really important in that. There's something really important there. Definitely a very good message right there. All right, let's see what Spirit wants to say using the uh, Kipper deck here. Yeah, 
Anything else? All right, thank you. Okay, this first one came out by itself. Toil and labor. It is. It's going to be work. It's going to be a challenge. But look, alignment can be achieved. This is card 38, which leads to 11, adds up to 11. Alignment, getting, you know, it's work. It is work. But if you work with your person and they are willing to work with you, this can happen, okay? Courtship, all right? Somebody here is going to feel like it, it's um, really like a job. I'm hearing to remember how the relationship started. I think some of you may have met during a challenging time in either one or both of your lives. Or you may have actually worked uh, uh, met at work. Okay. If somebody starts looking at this as more of a a job, something that they have to work on, it may not work. That may be what that tower is. I would like a little bit more here, please, spirit. Okay, the lovers. All right. So remember who you are. Um sevens are about Wonderful things are about to happen for you. So even though it may feel like it's work, okay, I am getting that sense of work again. Um, remember who you are and why you're in this and remind your person of this too, okay? And that's the second time the message has shown up on the bottom of the deck. And a message of concern and concern. All right, somebody may have a family member who is not doing very well and may um, may influence this relationship for a short period of time. Like you may have to retreat. There may be um, a journey. Somebody may not be in the best of health. There could be some legal matter happening here because we have um, a courthouse and an official person. And I get that you or your person, I'm really I'm feeling like it's your person, is going to have to travel back home. But then they realize there's that they can see their life differently. All right. Yeah, I, I think that that may be the tower moment that they're going to experience here. Wow, that was unexpected. That was completely unexpected. All right, let's see what else Spirit has for you. And an enchanted map oracle message. And then we're going to move on to um, the alphabet die and the number die. Yes or no answers. Okay. All right. This is my spirits got me looking over here at my oracle decks because I feel like there's something else that they want me to give you, and I don't know what it is. I'm looking at them, and I I keep looking at the star seed, so I don't know. Maybe that's spirit wants me to pull a card. 20 flying and 15 one ring circus one ring circus you are capable and you are competent okay card 20 Flying, you have the power to see things from a higher perspective. Okay. And Spirit's saying, just reach down and take a starseed card. All right. 
empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Hmm. Let's see what that message says. This says, empathic starseeds are here to shift the world through their physical presence alone. They don't need to do anything beyond being here, thanks to the energetic change that their physical presence causes. And that's exactly what it is. You standing by your person. You don't have to force anything on them, but showing them that you're there, that you are committed to the relationship, your energies will help them. If this card appears, consider lightening the load energetically. Don't put so, yourself under such pressure to handle everything. Be gentle with yourself. Allow extra time and care to recover energetically, okay? To allow things to develop. Do whatever you can to take the pressures of the world off your plate. Switch off in order to switch back on. In today's world, it's normal to feel that we should be doing more, but perhaps being present in our lives is more than enough. Okay, so just allow that to happen. Spirit really wanted you to hear that message. All right, we are going to go ahead and get you your yes or no answers here. And then we're going to do the letter die. Um, one through five on the number die is a no answer. Six through 12 is a yes answer. All right, let's go ahead and see what your first yes or no answer is. That's a yes. Answer number two is a no Answer number three is a no. All right, let's move into the alphabet eye here. All right, whatever comes out, comes out. Take it if it resonates. If it doesn't make sense to you, then it doesn't make sense to you. Don't try to force anything, okay? Leave it for those that it does. All right, it can be names, places, um, sounds, whatever, colors. It, it, whatever comes out, comes out, okay? All right, uh, dice one. Fiona, Fabio, Faye, Roquette, Roquette. I'm sorry, it's a woman's name. Roquette, R-A-Q-U-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, but that's also a racket. Hmm, but it's badminton racket, maybe? Okay, federal. George and Gina, God is showing up here. Rocks, rocks, R-O-X, R-E-X, Rex. And Dexter just showed up. Fred, fear, forego, Fargo. Okay, number two. Adam, Alicia, Allison, Alex, ago, a long time ago, Bow Bow, Boa, Hobo, Hiccup. Baja, Edie, Cadence, Canoga, Fathom, Fabio, Claire, Brenda, Bonnie, Adobe, Hopi, Hope, and Dave. All right, Dave again, but I'm also hearing Dee Dee, and I'm also hearing a chickadee. Dee 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 Dee, chickadee Dee Dee. Jacket, Jackie, Bad. Back, hijack, oh, 
there was like hi hi jack not hijacking like a plane or something luke Mac McKennan McDavid BJ Tabitha Talon Matthew and Mabel. Who? different okay we got a wild I will re-roll that after I give you what comes through um PG like a rating PG fog Bray Braxton fodder Fribble, Frank, Wonky, Wonka, like Willy Wonka, Knox, I'm hearing Fort Knox, but Knox, N-O-X, Knox, if it sounded like a knock, I was hearing that too, B.B., BP, Doctor, Brief, a lot coming through here lately. All right, what else have we got here? Whoops, that rolled right off the table. <laughs> Yvette, Yuri, Susan, St. Luke, Zulu, Vesuvius, malt, oh Malta, I'm getting a milkshake, I want a nice strawberry milkshake right now, um, I'm seeing science, scientific, technology, Saint Kit, LJ, Volume, Steve, Rosetta, Ruby, Murray, Jury, July, Unruly. Hmm. I heard the word lazy. Somebody just said, wow. Um, John, J-O-H-N, Vani, TV, Waxy, who, the band, Bijong, the dog, Hunter, Hazel, what is up with Mabel and Hazel? Are these names from TV shows or something that you're watching? BV, and that's coming through as Black Velvet. Mm. I'm seeing the horse, but I'm also seeing a whiskey bottle. BV, Black Velvet, something like that. Um, I'm getting a name, but it's weird. Okay, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting W-I-L-H-E-M, but as soon as I see the L, W-I-L, it turns to a J, W-I-J-H-E-M. Let me know if that means something to somebody, if that makes sense. Yuri is coming through again. Twins. All right. Hun. Somebody calls you Hun or Honey. 
Let me re-roll this wild one. And we have Emily, Ed, Red, R-E-D. Query, like a question. Lemons, females, decadence, Stuart, Sly. Oh, that's like Sylvester. Or if somebody's being sly, that could be too. Um, Lucky. <laughs> I'm actually hearing a friend's dog's name. What he what he calls him? <laughs> Lucky MF. Um, it's right there. I'm hearing it over and over and over again. I hope he's doing well. Good dog. Good dog. Um, need to talk. T-A-L-K, talk, talk, tackle, football. I'm definitely getting football images, tackle, but I'm also getting horse tack, um, the equipment for riding. Ernie, es Esther, Ellen, I'm getting... Defensive. Oh, that's why I'm feeling like, okay, defensive. Def defense. It's coming back with a football again. Um, Jen, but it's spelled G-E-N, not with a J. G-E-N. And I really do feel that's somebody's name. I'm seeing a female somewhere. Um, fugue. And age. I'm also seeing mage. M-A-G-E. All right. I think I'm going to leave this there. Spirit wants to give you a crystal. I don't know who's asking for it, but somebody's asking for it. And Spirit's saying, go ahead, give them a crystal. Something to put in their pocket. Something to hold on to is what I'm hearing. All right, what do we got here? This is a long one, 5222 on the clock. Sorry, guys, but the message is the message. I hope you've been enjoying it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have, if this is your message, or if you just resonated with it or like it or whatever. Um, don't forget to check the description box for all the information you might need. Um, yeah, drop a comment, okay? And subscribe. We would love to have you join us. Look at this, Green Aventurine. Number five, new art opportunities, heart chakra. Let us see what that is all about. Green aventurine, aventurine, however you say it. Congratulations, green, however you say this word. Showing up for you means that new opportunities are coming your way. You may have a new job, a new hobby, or perhaps even a new partnership or romantic relationships sitting in the wings. Whatever it is, enjoy this new way of life. Be open to these positive changes and new beginnings. The universe and your spirit guides are giving you a green light to let you know that the conditions around you are perfect for you to embrace this new opportunity. You can this is a time that can be a very fruitful time for you. Feel the creative energy all around you and move forwards with any of your new ideas or plans. Try to be open to suggestions or advice from people that are close to you. These new ideas may bear some fruit for you in the very near future. Green Aventurine is known as the Stone of Opportunity. It is associated with your heart chakra. This beautiful crystal helps you to release your old patterns and habits so that you can remain positive, confident, and motivated as you embrace any changes and new opportunities that come around you. It's a wonderful time for you to focus on manifesting prosperity and happiness in your life. What an awesome, awesome message. And I do have to say, I have several pieces of green aventurine. Let me see if I can find them. Here we go. There's one, and there's another, and that's what I have right here in this um, 
dish that's handy. So you can see they have different uh, sizes. You can put one of those right in your pocket. You can use the bigger one as a, like a, what do they call them? A worry stone. You know, you can just hold on to it. But you can carry that with you anywhere, okay? All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.